my class is a learning support class, but it's pretty much a life skills class. So my kids are intellectually disabled or um, have Down syndrome or autism. And my emphasis is pretty much preparing them for their life when they get out of high school. Um, job skills, life skills, being able to cook and clean and take care of themselves after they get out of school. Uh, so I don't really teach like history or science in the sense that uh, the regular class teachers teach it. So uh, we do a lot of things that will prepare them for instance, we go twice a month to the Transition House, which is a single wide trailer that's set up behind the Crawford County Career and Technical Center. Uh, we go shopping for food, we, we uh, design a menu, we go shopping for food, and then we come back there and cook. And they learn how to do laundry and make beds and vacuum and sweep and dust, things that you would do in your ordinary life. Uh, and once a month then we go and access some activities in the community so we'll go bowling or go to the movies where they'll have to ask for their ticket or for what they want to drink so that they're learning to um, have some leisure time activities that they can access themselves we also uh, one time a year we use the public transportation in Meadville so that they get a feel for what it's like to use public transportation in a bigger city than Townville uh, we have a cookie company here at school and we make cookies and sell them to the teachers and staff in the district. Uh, we market them, we pack them, we cook them, we make them, we package them up, we send them out in the inner office mail at the end of the year. And we have a uh, once a month teacher luncheon too. So we uh, have a soup and a sandwich or a, or a roll or bread and then the kids are in charge of serving the food and cooking the food and being the maitre d' and the and taking the money at the cash register uh, and then at the end of the year we take all the money that they've made as profit and we divvy it up and they all get a gift card and then we go shopping at Walmart which is one of the best trips of the whole year because they get to buy whatever they want and it's kind of cool <clears throat> Um, my kids take the alternative Pennsylvania State Assessment called the PASA because of their intellectual disabilities. It's a more reasonable uh, measure of what they can do than uh, how they're progressing. Uh, I have kids that uh, will be able to work in a job on their own. I have kids that will need supportive employment probably their whole lives. I have kids that will be able to live independently, and I have kids that won't be able to live independently. So we definitely try to meet the needs of every kid's um, ability levels and what what our expectations will be for them for when they get out of school. Uh, we have good working relationships with their parents. We have notebooks that go back and forth every day so we can tell them how their day has been and what's, what we've done that day. Uh, and then the parents can let us know too if something has happened, if they don't feel good, so that we have an idea of what our day will be like here. I have aides in my classroom, uh, Matt J. Rose, Tracy McClintock, and Cheryl McCarl that are awesome. Could not do this job without them, believe me. Uh, they're my my uh, assistants and right-hand people, I call them, my peeps. So uh, we have, I think we have a family in my room, my students. I have my students sometimes for the whole time they're in high school from 7th through 12th grade, or even if they stay until they're 21, we have them in here the whole time. So, uh, best job I've ever had. I've been teaching a long time, but it's uh, definitely the best position I've ever had.